Hello everyone. Today I will try to explain usage of JSON Web Token with Istio way. I mean, uh, by default, when you want to use this one, you you want you must to create uh, a lot. You must to at least to do a lot of jobs to achieve this one. But Istio gives us wonderful possibility to achieve this stuff. But in any way, I will not do, go in deep say about. GVT, how we, how we can use it, and really you can find tons of information from internet about that. Even myself, I, I learned tons of information from Google to that last two days. But to achieve easy way with that, I got task from my team lead and do that. The task was I must achieve the way which inside of Kubernetes cluster service one will communicate to service 2 with a domain, public domain, uh, with GVT token. But to get this GVT token, of course, if you will go in depth to learn about GVT, you will find the way which, firstly, you must to create one service which will be responsible uh, to create token. And, of course, if you will go in deep, you will understand Istio will not responsible to create GVT token itself. Is still responsible to validate each time request for GVT token with public key, which our another service created with private key. And with that, I, I, I will not go in there, but a little bit I will try to explain the scripts and Python code which I wrote to achieve all this stuff. It's actually a simple topology which we see right now. It is Kubernetes cluster, service one tries to communicate to service two with such domain, it doesn't matter actually. And at the same time, I will not use browser, I will use console to change GVT token header to achieve stuff. We must get 200 response code. All this stuff and with code, uh, code files, which I will show right now, uh, will be present in GitHub re repository and I will go one by one uh, for each of them. That actually, this is script which uh, going to create private and public K files, and then then it's going to apply uh, HTTP bin manifest of Istio itself, and then delete unneeded folders uh, which we don't need this anymore. And it is application. It's, it doesn't matter which application we'll use. Actually, the main point is we must go to domain where will be present some application with GVT token and. To create GVT token, we need private key. And just imagine we have service which is responsible to creation of GVT token. We will stimulate this stuff. And do that, I created public. And of course, all this stuff which I'm showing right now in bash code, you can add to Python too. Even I added it. Maybe I will push this part to GitHub repository too. But in any way, just imagine we have create private and public key. Public key must be converted to a customer source definition of Istio and which will be validated this public key inside of Kubernetes cluster when we will use GVT token. So actually it's easy. This code going to generate private and public, then apply manifest file and delete unneeded file. That's it. If I will execute this code file right now here, it will generate Sorry. Yeah, not the script file. So let me clear just to be. As we see, it is generated public and private key. Going to download Istio content itself to the manifest file. Then we'll apply the code inside of Kubernetes cluster. Namespace created. Then it should be in deployment and service itself and clean. Then if I will go to apply this code file, I mean Python code file. Generate. So if we will see, it is created converted public key content. At the same time, it is created private key content. We don't need this right now, but it will use it 
to generate JSON Web Token, JVT Token itself. It is JVT Token Info. You must read information about JVT Token Info because important case present there which must match in JVT in the information of JVT2. So in the last lines we can understand it is going to create request authentication customer source definition authorization policy CRD and gateway and virtual service CRD of Istio. And when all manifests applied all of them will be deleted but just just to be clear I will try to explain a little bit part of codes which I wrote. If I will go to templates, you will see all manifest files like as template present here, which will be changed from values which I defined in variables. All variables present here, you can change it as you wish. And all of them going to create uh, GVT token itself, converted format to public key, which we will use to the validation of GVT token. It will be applied inside of uh, request authentication like as GKS key here and even if I will try to get this object from Kubernetes namespace full so get this one minus in full minus YAML and at the same time if I will try to find this one too we will see case applied it's public key actually if I will go up to see the last four symbol DQIV, it will be same. At the same time, if I will go to get authorization policy, we will see we say inside of full namespace, I'm going to deny communication to me without any JSON web token principle. It means actually not request principle. If traffic comes to me with a GVT token, I will not let to anybody to communicate with me. Of course, when this rule will be applied, it's going to select with match labels where inside of application will be key up with value HTTP. You know, actually, inside of HTTP bin, Right now, already present this key with value. If I will do cpcl get pods minus and full show labels, we will see app equal to h to bin from here. So, do that, it will work, of course. And it is generated. If I will execute this command again, we will see token will be changed, but all the stuff will not be applied again because it's already configured and manifest will not be changed. Of course, this part will be the same too, because it's public key which will be converted to format of customer source definition of Istio, unchanged, unchanged, unchanged. We can right now define token like as variable, which will change, check it. Give me time, please. Where is token? Yeah. Okay, to the security reason, I changed virtual service and gateway to domain which I mapped from public DNS. Uh, it is due to security reason, I will not show it right now because it's our staging environment and all stuff is deployed in staging. And actually that's it, I defined token variable, it's actually GVT token which I will use right now. If I will execute URL with with the right token we see response code is 200 but if I will do with something wrong or even with without variable definition response code 200, 403, 401 if I will try to execute without, if I will try to execute response will be airbag access denied of course if I will try to execute with 
right header JSON web token. I will get response from h 2 bin service with headers with actually this endpoint present of h 2 bin service. That's why it is going to respond as all headers comes to service itself. And that's it actually. I hope it will be useful to all of you.